So we're in Richmond, Virginia. That's a train trestle that we're going down beside, and that's the James River over there. And you see that the land is up high right here. So if the river rises, it probably gets in this uh, parking garage right here, I would think. But they've got other parts of the city where it's kind of separated. They have these locks, these doors that they can shut. Look at that old thing. What is that? A drawbridge or a. Oh, that's something. That's a uh, thing where they tilt the uh, train cars. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they'll tilt them up and pour the stuff out. It says park entrance right here. So let's. Let's go in here. Great ship on the park. Yeah, that is really cool, that train thing. That thing lifts, I probably lifts the truck the car up like that. Oh, and there's the ship lock where you put the ship in it and you let the water out and right drop here. them down. Right here? Yeah. You ever seen that before? Uh -uh. That's how they raise and lower the ships. They can raise them up. The river gate in uh, Hendersonville and Gallatin in that area, I mm -hmm. mean, yeah, Gillettsville, that's that's how they, they do that. I'm going to park right here. So this is Richmond, Virginia. You see that old, it says strike on it, lucky strike right there. That's a lucky strike plant. And we're down here at the river, and this is the river gate, um, what they call a ship lock. And the way this works is it has a dam there, and you could see the water's actually, you could hear it falling off right there. But they'll, that's actually, that is not to flip the train cars, that is to open up to let the, to let the uh, train through or let the boat through. So what happens is to get on this side of the water, on the other side of the dam, the high side, they'll, they'll float you in here. And what they'll do is you see this side right here, they'll bring you in and then they'll shut the lock. They'll let the water down and drop you down to the other level let That's you go and then they'll close the thing and fill the water back up wow. or vice versa so this is pretty cool this thing doesn't feel very sturdy does it yeah. and they had to open this stuff by hand you see this they have to take these and crank them to open the locks So this is still not the right part, but we're getting closer. You can see the water's down over there and the water's up over here. You see the difference is higher here and lower. And this is man-made ability to add and subtract water, which is pretty crazy. And that thing open, it would move to you. You know, it would split its own hinges. Up under, you can see it's on a hinge. It'll actually swing like a wing. This is crazy. This is pretty cool. Boy, it's foggy. It's foggy. It's real foggy. It's on this. Big time. Yeah, I believe last time I was in Richmond, I stopped down here somewhere and walked out here to this park. Mm-hmm. To that, that other part yeah, it's down like there. A waterfall. It's like a uh, rapid waters. Yeah. You can let's, hear it. Yeah. You, you can hear it right now. Yeah. It's like let's that. go. You don't see that every day. Well, you do. We saw a donut at Rodney Dangerfield's grave in LA. Yeah, we did. And we saw a can of corn in Richmond. Who are they living On a bench. I don't know. There's nobody's name on that one. This one's David Ship. That's pretty. You can't make this stuff up, folks. 
So what blows my mind is that you can hold water back with metal. So this is what I'm talking about. Look at that. It tells you how high it is. Eh? Yeah. So if they wanted to bring a ship or a boat, it'd have to be a boat to this to this side of the dam. They would open this gate. You know, the water would be down. They would open the gate, shut the doors, let it fill up. Go to the and then open the gate to go to the other side, and then the vice versa. If you want to come this way, they open the gate and slowly let the water level down, then open the gate and let you go this way. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. So that is, that is in the 1800s. Yeah, I mean this is old school, man. This is by hand. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <clears throat> that is pretty darn cool stuff. I'm glad it's still here. Yeah. Interesting. It says the first great ship lock was built in 1816. It connected the navigatable part of James River to the Richmond City Dock, which extends for 10 blocks to the west. The lock raised sailing ships and steam boats approximately, approximately 13 feet above the tide water of the river in the harbor, safe from the river current for loading and unloading cargo. In 1854, the James River and Kanawha uh, Company constructed the great ship lock to accommodate ships as large as 180 feet long by 35 feet wide. It opened the city to transatlantic trade and made Richmond a world port. The great ship lock. So this was built in uh, what it's a 1854? 1854. And it's still here. So look at the guys out there cranking. That is incredible. And you can still see the the uh, Smokestack, you can't hardly see it for the fog. But look at that that picture from back then, man. That is incredible. Yeah, that was a great picture. How do they have Amazing. captured that? And that's right here. That's where we're at, the Great Ship Lock on the James River. Awesome. So, friends, I want you to look. Look at this. You see what the metal's in here and all that kind of stuff? You see that, that block with those nuts and those pieces of metal, and you can see the, the smokestack there. There was buildings, they were right there. Actually right there where that picnic table is. Those were the buildings. But I want you to look at this. You see how old that photo is. That's the Aurora of Petersburg, Virginia. Look at this right here, and now look right here. It is still here. That absolutely blows my mind. Now, this structure has changed. In the photo, I'll go back and show you again, is wood. But you see these bolts? That, that right there is in that photograph. That has changed. It doesn't look the same. But that has not changed. That is crazy. Man, I love history. So you see the, the gate is metal. That one is metal and wood. So the gates changed, but that block hadn't changed. See, that's wood and metal right there. Mm -hmm. So that's different. That is not different. Amazing. Yeah, I was just saying, like, but that's there. Yeah. So they're standing here, and it's a wide angle. They're standing there looking at the guys and it's an angle and they're getting them and they're getting that smokestack. All of this. Wow, that's a wide angle. Yeah, that's a very wide angle. Where were, they, where were they standing at? They were standing, well, you can see right here. Mm -hmm. They were just standing out about beyond it. Dang, that was a wide angle. It was really wide. But the smokestack is more in your peripheral here when you're standing here. So they would have been standing I don't want to get, I'm going to go around this, but I'm reluctantly doing it because it is wet. Yeah, I'll say about right there. <laughs> they were standing, let me make sure it's not too slick. They were standing something like, 
that right there, I mean. You can't get it, can you? I, c I could with my cell phone, but I can't with this. So he's standing right up here. Yeah, they're standing right up there. Yeah, they're cranking on one of them. Isn't it one of them, on each one of them? Yeah. yeah, they're right there. And in the photo, it's also tall because you can see this too. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, I don't like being on this side of the... What? No, I don't. I don't. That gives me that funny feeling in my stomach yeah, that I don't like. like yeah, I don't like that feeling. So something else I wanted to point out is you see that they had this. That was probably pulled by a horse over back in the day. Now they've modernized it to this. That's under the edge of the concrete and it's they put cranks on that and that's how they use it. They put cranks on it and did the same thing that they did here, there, and that's how they would crank those things wide open. Amazing. That train is over our head. We're going down the street and it's, it's above us. It's, boy, that's a long ways off the ground. It's like I remember something about a train. It's an Amtrak. Oh. If that thing fell on my head, it would hurt. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. I know. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm asking you a ridiculous question, but I'm trying to fit. I lived here 50 years ago, at least. Yeah. I was about yeah. five. Yeah, yeah, you were old enough that when we moved there, you were old enough to go to kindergarten, not to I was supposed to go to kindergarten, right. But yeah, but I didn't. But they pardoned me because I was too smart. I know. Well, tell you, you did fine without it because you went into first grade the next year. You did fine without it. Yeah, graduated with honors. <laughs> All right, Mom. So, do you, so the name of the apartment. Any clue? A street name? I wish I could help you, but I don't know how in the world. I'm not sure what that is. So, friends, we're in Richmond, Virginia, and that is the Richmond train depot where Elvis came in from the train, left from the train. And there's some <laughs> Al Wertheimer photos that were taken here, some very iconic photos. And we're gonna just do a little, a little quick look-see. Kind of scout the location, come back tomorrow and film it. Lord willing. I'm glad to see that it's a museum and not gone. Al said he came out of the side door. Yeah. So, well, I mean, you could see in the photo the side door he came out of is a hallway. So I would think it'd be on that far side over there. It's a historic landmark. It looks like a chandelier. Which means it can't get torn down, Thank you. thankfully. The inside of it is going to be very similar, like you said, just like Chattanooga. I hope that side hallway is like it was. Here's a side hallway right here. This reminds me of Union Station in Nashville. All right, I'm looking at it right here. It's, not it's been messed up. It's not yet, though, is it? You can see outside here, and there's well, trees. Yeah, there's. Yeah, let me let me look close at that. Yeah, because you can at, see. Look at the floor, eh? Yeah, you can see. Walk around here. Yeah, there's another structure. Yeah, this is down. That structure is down. Hey, I think that there's doors down. Downstairs. Yeah, so that would be down. What you're seeing is things that are over your head. The 
Hey, these were the train tracks, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you look at this, it looks like there was a like a wall mm -hmm. where he went out. Which would be blows. Like this wall right there. Uh -huh. You see that wall right there? Yeah. And there's trees and stuff, so. Yeah. I think that exit could be, it would have been, well, we'll have to come back and find out. But you can see clearly that there's, it looks like that wall right there yeah. is right there. But there was glass. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to let you have that. So it don't look like here. It's not up here. It's down there. And because the door's not wide enough there. No. Well, it's three wide. Plus, look, you have a side here. It's going outside. Right. And that's what I'm saying. It looked almost like something was sticking out. Like, it may be this, that right there. But they remodeled it. You know, where it stopped right there at the end. It stopped right here. And there was windows right there, and the hallway went out to the trains. So that would be a side door, and you would probably be able to see that in the angle. It almost looks like you're under, under a train or under a canopy it does, or under something. It? Mm -hmm. But if you look at those trestles out there, those tops, if you're down, it would look like that above you. So it may be a back door. Mm -hmm. So this was definitely the place. We'll just have to come back when it's open. Let's see what their hours are. And then let's go spin that giant ball of water. Wednesday through Sunday. Oh. Oh. So today, if we'd have got here early enough, but we didn't. It's an impressive building. It is. That's a giant building. So friends, I want you to see that this ball is solid. It weighs a lot. And even the spa guy with one finger can turn it. See that? It has tension on it, but not a lot. You like David Copperfield. Not Copperfield, Copperfield. No question, man. It's that strong. I've been working out every night. Moving this ball. So, friends, I'm here in Richmond, Virginia, and this is the John Marshall Hotel. Elvis stayed here. This is a very famous hotel here in Richmond. Elvis stayed here in 1974 when he was doing a concert here in Richmond. Many presidents have stayed here as well. It's very well known for that kind of stuff. It is no longer a hotel, it is now a residence. But this is where Elvis stayed. Yes, indeed he did. So it's a, it's a apartment. Apartment complex. Yeah. But you need to go there and go down to the top of it. Yeah. Very top of the building. But this is where the E-Man stayed. I wish we could get in. We really don't know anything about it, so there's nothing to see, no pictures to line up. And there's even a sign way up there. But 
Elvis stayed here in 1974 in Richmond. Yes, indeed he did. So friends, I know it's dark, but we're trying to do our due diligence so tomorrow when we film, we have it. And I want you to look, we're at the Richmond Coliseum, which is a dome, by the way. You can see the nice dome shape up there. And it has not been used in a long, long time, it looks like. But it is still, in fact, here, thankfully. So we're going to just take a little look, see. It's real dark. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. So I'm wondering how they would have gotten in here. I, can't, I, I think, think it's down there. Yeah, last time I think it's down low. Down Where we were at. You can see inside. Well, no. Uh, I thought that was a little bit of sort of flexion. The doors were there when Elvis played here. Yeah. Yeah, the doors are so dirty. Yeah, and they are really dirty. And it'd be a cool one to get inside. Yeah. Doors over and over there. Yeah, I see that. Can you see up in there? Yeah, I thought we were going to get lucky. Dang it, it's so dirty. There you go. This is so dark, but you can see some sands here. Yeah, you can see ever so slightly in there. Up here where people walked around. Yeah. But, I mean, would they jump the curve there and come in here? Maybe. This could be an entrance. Let's look on this side. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. It's possible. Well, no. I mean, unless that's a ramp to go down, but I think it's too short. Yeah, probably just loading in food and stuff. You're right. Smarter than you look, I tell you. This is the very front end. Yeah, let's go back around. So there it is, friends. I'm going to take a picture, but we'll try to come back tomorrow and fly to glory. I don't know if this is a no-fly zone, but we'll, we'll show try. I'll tell you that. So, friends, we're down under the Coliseum trying to figure out how they would have gotten in usually you can find a door, a back door, a front door, something. And I don't really find it anything. <laughs> They've got this hidden somewhere. Yeah. And there's, I mean, if a bus was going to come in here, a bus would have to jump the curb. There's no, but this does look like fairly new concrete. And you can see it looks like, well, it's an emergency exit is what it looks like. It's what it says. Yeah. So there's got to be something we're missing. What is it that we're missing here? So could it be that ramp thing up there? Maybe that door is a ramp to go under. Go under. Yeah. But man, I, that'd be. Have to, I guess, get inside the that would be crazy, though, to have the ramp in the front. Yeah. There's no way. I mean, I just don't see. And I see nothing here. No, it just doesn't. Now uh, this is this is steps. This was an entrance or an exit to come out at one time, but I don't see an entrance anywhere. So let's uh, let's keep looking. So here's your answer. It says Richmond Coliseum event load in out staff parking deliveries no throughway. This is a ramp right here. So before we turned and went up there and the Coliseum is over there, this is the second road 
and it goes down as you can see. And then you just come and look, and boy, that tunnel goes way under. Look at that. There's a long ways under there. Yes, indeedy, Petey. This is it. Elvis came down here, no doubt. No doubt about it. So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spy Guy, you subscribe, you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video, and watch the Weekly Spy Guy, friends. Thank you.